Well, hello internets, here we are with a bit of a video. This one here is my thoughts on apartment living after six, eight months of uh, living here. Compared to where I was, this apartment is uh, night and day. I know this apartment has a past. I know this apartment has had some mismanagement in the past. However, this new property management company or whoever they got running it now has definitely made a huge improvement compared to where it was a few years ago. It's uh, so much of an improvement and so nice living here that I kind of regret moving to that other building, wasting all the money, all the aggravation, all the time, dealing with those blockheads that I never would have got anywhere with anyways. This apartment is uh, quiet, reasonably quiet, you know, very clean, um, very comfortable, very, it's warm in the winter, very manageable in the summer. It's got an air conditioner. The electrical here is great. The uh, showers are warm. The bathroom is wonderful. The dishwasher works great. There's no rotten spots in the floors where you're afraid of falling through when uh, you go to your washroom at 2 in the morning. The windows don't leak. You know, I, all this stuff that was plus more, of course. But all that stuff was wrong with the other apartment and the landlords wouldn't fix it, they just pretended. These guys here, you call them, and depends on what it is, they're here pretty fast. You know, within within a day, they're usually got the uh, problem or issue fixed, and if it's running water or something urgent, they're here within a few minutes or, you know, half hour, 45 minutes. I had uh, the flapper thingy, the rubber plug thingy in your toilet bowl break um, about two months after being in. I called them and I believe it was later that afternoon they were here. The um, When I viewed my apartment they hadn't uh, installed the new air conditioner yet. And when I moved in, they still hadn't installed the new air conditioner, and I was kind of thinking, you know, has things changed? However, you know, once a call was given to them, they were here within just a few and installed that air conditioner, and they did a great job of uh, the trim work, the uh, the hole filler and everything. It looks great, you know. I. I probably couldn't have done a better job myself with the, the current tools that I have by far. So it's um, it's been great living here. There have been some excitement, as you guys have seen uh, probably by now with the fire, the apartment fire. My apartment was spared from the fire. However, there's uh, three suites that got the direct damage and another five or so with damage. My apartment had um, um, sooty footprint marks that are still here today, but there are, they are coming um, lighter each time I mop the floor, which is a, a bonus. And last time I stuck my head in the storage room, there was a, a burny, plasticky smell, but that's been months now since I've stuck my head in there. So if a little bit of smoke and some sooty footprints is all that I got from that fire, then, uh, well, consider it a blessing, right? The uh, property management company, the staff, and the landlord, that the people that were here that night, they uh, manage the crowds, manage the staff, inventory, who was present, who was missing. They handled that situation very, very well. We were out of the apartment for probably three and a half, four and a half hours. I wasn't quite sure. 
that night by the time we got the all clear to go back and even the next day they were on top of it to come talk to each one of us to make sure that all our needs were met you know there was no no damage no hot spots nothing going on with our apartment and they did several walkthroughs of the damage suites that are now empty and even hired a security guard to stand out front to make sure that nobody wandered in there or no hot spots or nothing happened in those following weeks after the fire. Now that things have cooled on down, um, the disaster services, you know, the fire people have been in done their inspections and handed it off to the restoration company which I don't know if they're waiting for court uh, court proceedings to go through or what but there's been very little activity over there since well since the day it happened since their investigation and ended so uh, there there may be a court proceedings going on there might be more happening than just just um, well, you know, what we all see, right? Do I miss the house? Yes, um, in some way I miss the house. I miss the pride of ownership, to, to know that is mine, to know that I am building toward a future. However, uh, when you're throwing money in a hole that never seems to show that you're actually paying every month then after many many years you start to get discouraged and I have no idea how I did it but I managed to owe more on that house after 12 years of living in it than what I did and and paying the mortgage than what I did when I originally uh, paid for the house on the bottom line so I, I'm not sure how how that happened I think it was um, uh, the other circumstances that was going on when I chose to stay at the house and refinance, resettle, absorb the other portion of the mortgage and every time I did that the bottom line got bigger and bigger and any pro progress that I had made in the previous three or five or you know seven eight years was lost because of refinancing debt once again. I miss the yard, I miss the ability to light a fire and enjoy a backyard fire. You know, the beautiful deck that I had built, the piece of paradise that I was starting to carve out for, you know, myself, my family, that uh, was my vision, was starting to come shape, come to reality before I got sick, hurt myself, had the workplace accident, you know, things like that miss my garage, my workshop, my welder, my tools, all that stuff, but you know, it is what it is, right? The uh, lessons one learns through all of this, they, well, they stick with a person, they help a person, and they uh, teach them what is important in life and what is really not. I've thought about buying a condo a condo is basically a overpriced apartment rather than paying out 875 a month's rent you pay out x number of dollars for a mortgage at a condo you get your two bedrooms your dishwasher your tiny little deck your in-suite laundry um, if it's a good condo you even get an elevator and underground parking and stuff however with a condo you have no 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 yard to have a fire no garage to have a uh, uh, tools in and if the basement fills full of water or the roof leaks or the elevator breaks or they find termites somewhere the whole building has to divvy up that cost to to pay to pay for um, the repair and essentially you're back to owning your own home except more. So I chose not to invest into a condo mainly because I don't know what my future is at this time. 
I am here, I am living where I'm at, but I may or may not be living where I'm at in a couple of years. Once things settle down even further, I might even get further um, direction on where I'm headed. And once I'm headed, or once I know where I'm headed, I, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna probably uh, take that jump and uh, well go from there. I have over the last couple of years I've been researching um, small town living. A lot of small towns do not have rental um, opportunities like apartments. Majority of their rentals are houses, small houses or trailers. And once again, you're back to paying a water bill, gas bill, power bill, and the and the monthly charge of rent and, and a lot rent sometimes and stuff like that. So I um, haven't really thought about renting in a small town with the opportunities that are there. And I definitely don't want to buy in a small town right now anyway. Especially if I get back into having to pay utility bills plus mortgage plus upkeep. Then I'm kind of back where I was except I am literally living in the middle of nowhere. I have found a few small towns where I could get a lot, a bare raw lot with no septic, no power, no water, no um, natural gas or propane for just the cost of the back taxes which is like five six hundred dollars plus um, probably another five thousand dollars for lawyer fees to transfer over the title or whatever they call that then probably another thirty to forty thousand dollars by the time you get a um, uh, an old trailer in there or a garage package in there with some kind of a power hookup for for you know for heat and all that it's just a little bit more than I want to invest in in things at this time because once again I don't know what my future holds I am looking for you know a, a new direction I will find my direction things will settle down here more than what they are right now they will take it down another notch they will free up some more thoughts some more ideas for the future and we will run run at it from there but this has been a bit of an end to uh, this here vlog it is what it is and around we go remember we do have social media and such all those links are down below give us a like, give us a follow, uh, send us a comment. We do have a fan mail uh, box for all your fan mail needs. Send us a letter if you choose. Be nice to hear from y'all. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's vlogs, comment, subscribe, and enjoy.